we are going to be checking out the brand new semi truck on audacity trip let's get right into this so in this update they added a brand new season pass and in the car spin tab on the season pass you have a super low chance to get the semi truck right here so in our previous video we went ahead and checked out the pl22 which is pretty crazy but the other car in here is actually the semi truck so anyway i am in the test server right now so i do have access to it so let's scroll all the way to the bottom and let's equip it so here it is right here looking absolutely massive and i've been asking for them to add this into the game for like a couple months now and they finally added it which is quite awesome so let's see how good it actually is so first off we'll test it on the desert map and then we'll hop over to the planes map in just a second so i believe it probably spawns like right over here well actually we can just build it it should spawn over where the plane is for you but since i am on the test server that's just there instead so anyway here's this giant semi truck and it looks like we actually have six wheels for it i'm not sure if we need all six i think we could probably be fine with just four but i mean we might as well just equip all of them we now pretty much fully built the truck we are missing like two parts i believe first off we're missing the radiator so we'll just grab one from one of these cars and we're also missing the back so i'll just grab the back from this other semi truck and we'll just see if it attaches to this one hopefully we can i'm not sure though since it's not the correct one and yes we can awesome so we just open it up just like that not sure what you'll want to put in here which actually this would be good for transporting mutants because a few updates ago they actually made it so you can sell mutants for coins and the semi truck would actually be perfect for that anyway before we test it around let's go ahead and grab a radiator there we go but as i was saying this would be perfect for for transporting mutants because all we need is the gravity gun and this car right here so we'll use the gravity gun to pick up mutants put them in here and then just close the door and then we could just stuff as many mutants as we want in there and then we could just drive to one of the places where we sell them and then get a ton of bottle caps i'm not sure if there's too many things you can buy with bottle caps at the moment but anyway it looks like this isn't moving let's try like pushing it a little bit and never mind i actually completely forgot to put gas in it so I'm not sure if it's going to spawn with a gas container. This one didn't for some reason. But whenever it releases to the real game, I'm assuming it should spawn with a gas container. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. So let's go ahead and fuel it up. Hopefully it doesn't use too much. I'm actually kind of surprised it doesn't use diesel. It would be pretty cool if they made it so this one spawns with like its own engine, kind of like the Freight Fury car. And instead of using gas, it would actually use diesel. That would be pretty cool. But I mean, luckily it does only use gas because diesel is quite rare. And we'll start driving. Let's see if it goes pretty fast. I'm assuming it won't be anything crazy since it is a semi truck, but hopefully it just goes a decent speed. So it looks like it maxes out at around 240. That's pretty good. I mean, I didn't really expect it to go any faster, just since it's a semi truck and not like some sports car. So I would say this is a pretty good speed. A little bit faster would definitely be appreciated, but it's all right. Anyway, let's just drive down to like over here. I don't think I have the gravity gun in my backpack though, just since I am on the test server, but I'll see if I do. And never mind, we can't even use it here anyway since that is just a charm shop. But I believe there are smaller shops scattered around the map where we can actually sell mutants. So let's go and make a stop at this water tower building over here. And yep, I do see a mutant on the outside. So let's do this. Let's open it up. Hopefully we have a gravity gun. And no, we don't. We just have two regular guns. So it looks like we can't put him in here right now. I mean, actually, maybe we could get him to walk in there. So let's go up to him. Also, I believe you are able to put cars in the back of this. You'll just have to like make a ramp for them. But anyway, we got this dude over here. Let's go ahead and run up inside. And no, he kind of just stops chasing us. We need him to chase us inside of here. I believe we can eventually get him to jump in. It might be quite difficult though. Well, it looks like we can't really get him to jump in. We can probably do it eventually. But I mean, if you have the semi truck, you could kind of use the back as just a safe zone. So you could just keep it open. And if it means chasing you, just go ahead and jump inside and then they'll stop chasing you. So that's pretty cool. Let's try removing this. So let's take it off. And there we go. All right, let's see if he chases us inside now. And no, he still doesn't. So yeah, I guess you could use this as kind of like a little safe zone it might be the same for the ghost town i'm not too sure actually let's try that out so i'll try driving all the way down to the ghost town actually before we do that let's see how much gas it uses so we're at 1000 8.7 all right that's still pretty good and then those ones are pretty good as well and no i'm about to die all right so let's actually drive this down 
to the ghost town and let's get all the mutants to chase us and then we'll try jumping in the back because it looks like if we jump in the back it makes it so they like stop chasing us so if we could use that at the ghost town that would actually be pretty crazy because that means we would be able to kill all of them without having to even worry about them killing us so let's just drive down there and check it out we now made it all the way to the ghost town and it took like 30 minutes just since like the semi truck goes so slow but we let's hop out so we gotta lure them towards us and i think it might be better to like kind of back it up so there we go we didn't back it up too much but just enough and now before we go over there let's just check the gas so 6.1 that's pretty good and then we still have 3.4 and then 4.2. Yeah, all those stats are pretty good. I didn't fuel them up at all. So those are just the stats from 0 meters to 25,000. So I would say that's pretty good. And I think I might like forgot to attach the trunk door. Because I don't know what happened to it. But anyway, let's go over here. So let's start luring them towards us. And there we go. We got a swarm of like 10 of them. Now let's quickly run in the trunk. And I think they're actually going to kill us before we can do it. And <laughs> no. Alright, well, oh, that was pretty much for nothing. So it is pretty difficult. Maybe I should try and bringing the semi truck a little bit closer. But yeah, that did not work. And I can't really try it again because once we use a revive, all the mutants around us will just disappear. So we'll still wipe out the ghost town, but it means we still have to die and then use a revive. So let's go ahead and click your free revive right here. And all right, it looks like they'll actually still go in the semi truck anyway. And yep, they're just all gone. But yeah, I guess the semi truck doesn't fully save you because it looks like they'll still come in here just because of how many there are. If there's only like two or three minutes, the semi truck should save you. But the ghost town, there's so many that they kind of like push each other into the semi truck so they can still like come in and kill you. So I would recommend being careful of that. But overall, the semi truck is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. The fluid consumption is actually super good, especially for the water. 0.8 liters of water in 25,000 meters is actually very good. The speed, not so much, but I mean, it is a pretty good speed if you're stopping at every building. Because if you're stopping at every building, then you'll hop in the car, drive for like 20 seconds, and then stop at another. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good car, especially if you have tons of friends, and they're just going AFK or something, you could just toss them in the trunk, close the door, and then just drive away. Yeah, anyway, that's the brand new semi truck on a dusty trip though, so that's gonna be all for this video. So make sure to leave like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh.